what is up everybody i cannot believe it's day 30 i am so proud of myself um i don't think i've ever committed to doing yoga every single day for like a set amount of time and it's been 30 days what a what a dream i'm really proud of myself and i actually just got my birth control shot in my arm there's the band-aid so i might be a little bit sore but i'm excited to do my final day of my 30 day challenge and i will see you guys later for my final wrap-up thoughts What's up bitches? My name is Shayna. Welcome back to my channel and today I have a really fun video and I'm just going to be talking a little bit about my experience doing the 30 day yoga challenge and I did this challenge with Yoga with Adrienne. Um, she is probably the biggest yoga YouTuber on the platform so if you're into yoga or you clicked on this video you've probably heard of her if you are looking for a sign or you're looking for a reason to start something new to do something good for yourself your body your mind your soul this is it baby this is your sign um start the 30-day challenge and ask your, ask a little bit more of yourself ask yourself to do something with this time um, where we're all indoors and um really challenge yourself to do better to go further and um this practice will change your life. I think that it will really improve your life. Adrian is a wonderful light and um, I think that if yoga is something you've at all been interested in trying, this is the perfect time. There is no better time. There is no time like the present, girl. And you know what? I think that a lot of people um, during this time of confusion and frustration and isolation um, could really benefit from having a community like the Yoga with Adrienne community. I think that she is just a kind soul and I cannot recommend it enough. Um, if you have clicked on this video, it is probably because you're already interested in trying this challenge yourself or you have done this challenge yourself. Um, I started my journey by watching a video very much like this that was recommended for me and um, from hearing from my sister who's actually someone who's dealt with chronic pain. She broke her hip many years ago and she had multiple surgeries and so she's dealt with some mobility issues and she was the one she knows that I've been interested in yoga for many years and um she said have you heard of this person yoga with adrian i said not really and she said i think you would love it and you know what she was right i think that we could all use a practice in our lives that we do only for ourselves um, and the challenge that i did the 30-day challenge i know she has like two or three of them i did the one from 2015 um i'll insert a little picture of the thumbnails and that's probably how you could best recognize like which series I did. Um, yeah, so let's just get into it. The first thing is that um, I completed this challenge in 30 days. So it was a 30 day challenge and I didn't skip a day, which I am so proud of myself for. And um, that is the main reason why I decided to do a challenge like this anyways. I have been practicing yoga off and on since I was about 16 I think and um I love yoga so I'm 22 now so that is doing the math in my head that's six years um you probably could have done that math quicker but that's fine um so I've been practicing yoga off and on for a few years now and um I love yoga it's an amazing part of my life and I can't do anything extremely fun or interesting in terms of poses and I just wanted to challenge myself to really, um, to really push myself to create a practice that I could stick with, something that was a routine, that was a habit that I didn't have to think about. I pressed play on the video and um, that was that. 
why I incorporated yoga into my routine or these videos into my routine every day was I would basically, I would wake up and create my, create my girl, what? I would wake up and I would make my coffee and I would start my day for probably around 30 minutes to an hour. So I wouldn't straight away go into the yoga. Really great way to start my day. Um, I liked having the little buffer when I first woke up to have my coffee and like not immediately going into my yoga practice because I'm one of those people that likes to feel like it's my choice and I'm kind of doing this for myself. And um, now let's just get into the review of the program itself. So Adrian, I think, I don't know a single person who doesn't like Adrian as a yoga instructor. I think she is so likable and funny and lighthearted, but also serious enough about the practice where you're not, it's not a joke, you know? You can tell for her, it's a spiritual practice. It's something that has to do with mindfulness and her general well-being, her physical well-being, and I just cannot say enough good things about her. I can't believe I hadn't, I had been doing yoga for all this time and I had never seen her videos, um, but I am obsessed. I think she is the perfect person to introduce you to yoga if you've been trying to pick up a practice. So one of the things you might be wondering when you're starting this kind of challenge is, am I going to lose any weight? No, you're not going to probably. Um, and boo, boo, don't be thinking like that girl. You're probably not going to lose any weight, but you might, if you're someone who doesn't um, get any sort of physical exercise otherwise, um, this program might definitely change your life in that way where you're just moving every day and that can create a big effect, if you will. Um, wherein if you're moving a little bit every day, you're gonna move a little bit more and more and more and um, it will just become easier to be more physically active. Also, if you're somebody who suffers from some sort of disability or you have some pain, chronic pain in your body, um, this might actually really help, you, like this practice might really help you in that way, um, just becoming more mobile. Um, and just improving your balance and flexibility in that way um, can really have a ripple effect in other aspects of your life. So I would say in terms of physical benefits, um, you probably won't see any pounds on the scale gone unless you are um, starting from a different place. If you're starting at a really high weight or um, you don't do any sort of physical exercise whatsoever and you start doing this program on a consistent basis, then you might start to lose a little bit of weight but um, more importantly than that, you probably will f find yourself um, getting some strength. So um, overall, would I recommend this program? Hell yeah, big fat yes, guys. It's a big fat yes for me. I would super recommend this program and I am going to be starting another 30 day challenge. So if that sounds fun to you and you would like to do it with me as well, um, please join me and I'll probably be creating some other vlogs and content regarding my next 30 days so it's going to be um the next video that's going to be like this is probably going to be like a 60 days with yoga review challenge review thing um and maybe i will be seeing some improvements in my actual yoga postures um by that point so 30 days maybe isn't enough 60 days we'll see you know who knows 90 days 120 days we'll see where it takes us boys um if this is the kind of content you enjoy or you enjoy me or um you're still here um i would really really appreciate it if you stuck around give this video a like give this video a comment i love hearing from you guys and um i hope to see you next time subscribe i love you guys thank you very much Good morning, it's day 29 of my 30 day yoga challenge, but I don't wanna start yet because the gardeners are outside and they are harsh in my mellow. So I'm just waiting. Nice going guys, you deactivated my charcoal. We're not vibing. Like we're not a, not a good vibe to be found. 
but I just wanted to show you guys my favorite shoes real quick. I got these for my birthday. They're Teva sandals and they have like this celestial print to them. Aren't those fun? Um, I don't really go outside ever or like in public. I go outside, but I don't go like places. So I don't really get to wear them as much as I really thought I would be, but such is life in quarantine, I guess.